Hi, I'm Dan Taylor, a program manager on the Common Language Runtime Performance team. We've made a lot of improvements to performance in .NET 4.5, but today I'm going to talk about just some of my favorite features. First, I'm going to go over Multicore JIT, which is an easy to use feature that can help you get better startup performance for your applications. Then I'm going to talk about managed profile guided optimizations, which can help reduce memory consumption of your application when you're using native images. To show you these features, I'm going to be using Paint.net, which is a popular desktop image editing application. This version of Paint.net was built using Visual Studio 2012 and runs on top of .NET 4.5. First, let's take a look at the startup time of this application. When I open Paint.net, it takes about five to six seconds before it becomes usable. The CLR compiles methods in your application the first time each method is called. This is referred to as just-in-time, or JIT compilation. For large applications, this JIT time can add up, and in the case of Paint.net, this is adding several seconds to startup. We can use the new multi-core JIT feature in .NET 4.5 to reduce the startup time of this application by parallelizing some of this JIT compilation. This works by saving a profile of the methods used during startup and having the CLR JIT these methods on a second core. Here I have Paint.net opened in Visual Studio. All I need to do is go to the entry point of the application and use the Profile Optimization class to turn on Multicore JIT. Using these two function calls, I can tell the CLR where it should look for Multicore JIT profiles and the name of the profiles to use. Note that I don't need to tell the CLR when to stop profiling because the CLR uses heuristics to automatically determine when the startup of your application has finished. Now let's recompile our application and look at the performance. The first time we start up the application, it will still take about five to six seconds. That's because it is in recording mode and we'll be generating a profile of the startup path. Notice that after we close the application, a file named startup.profile is generated in our application folder. The next time we start the application, it should be much faster. That only took about three seconds. By making only two function calls, I have improved the startup time of my application by about 40 to 50 percent. Next, I would like to talk about managed profile guided optimizations. But first, I need to quickly review the .NET pre-compilation technology called Native Image Generation, or NGEN for short. With multi-core JIT, we, we were able to get our application startup time down to approximately three seconds by parallelizing this JIT compilation. With a bit more work, we can use NGEN to pre-compile this application and eliminate the JIT time completely. Let's take a quick look at using NGEN with paint.net. All I need to do is open an administrator command prompt and go to the folder of my application. Then I can run NGEN install and the name of the executable and Engine will pre-compile native images for my application, such that I don't need to do any JIT compilation when my application starts up. Now when we start the application, it should be much faster. That was a blazing fast one to one and a half seconds, which is much faster than the five to six seconds it originally took. Paint.net normally does use Engine. However, I was not using it previously so that I could show you the multi-core JIT feature. You might now be wondering, why you would use multi-core JIT if you can get better results with NGEN. NGEN requires work to be done during installation, and this is not a practical choice for all applications. For applications where NGEN is not a practical choice, multi-core JIT is an easy-to-use alternative which yields great improvements to startup time. Now let's take a look at the memory characteristics of this application when it's using NGEN. All we need to do is open vmmap and select paint.net.exe. Here we can see that this application uses a total image-based working set of approximately 47 megabytes. Looking at the breakdown, we can see that 13 megabytes of the memory consumed is being used by pages loaded into native images. Now I want to show you how we can use a new feature in .NET 4.5 called Managed Profile Guided Optimizations, or MPGO for short, to reduce the memory footprint of these images. On the performance team, we know that much of the contents of these image-backed pages are not actually used, and that we can reduce the memory footprint by densely packing these pages so that they only contain the data which is used by the application. 
To do this, we need to use the MPGO tool to generate a profile of the data which is typically accessed by your application. MPGO ships as part of Visual Studio 2012 Ultimate and can be run from the developer command prompt. Before we use MPGO, we need to remove the engine images that we previously installed so that the machine is in a clean state. Then we need to create a folder to output the data generated by MPGO. Next, we need to call MPGO, giving it the name of the application to run and a list of assemblies to profile. We also set a timeout such that the shutdown path is not included in our profile. Now MPGO will first generate instrumented images which can be used to collect profile data when the application is run. Then MPGO will start our application to collect a profile of the startup path. Then it will create copies of the original assemblies which contain the profile information. Now MPGO is finished, and I can close my application. You'll notice that new assemblies have been generated in the output folder I specified, and these assemblies contain the optimization data that I wanted it to collect. Now we can copy these assemblies to a new folder, and now when we ngen these assemblies, the profile data will be used. Again, all we need to do is run ngen install in the name of the executable. Now when I launch the application, it still starts in a blazing fast one to two seconds. And when we look at the memory consumption of this application, we can see that it's actually improved. Now the image-based working set of this application is down 6 megabytes to 40 megabytes. If you look at the breakdown, we are now using only 7 megabytes of memory for our native images instead of 13 megabytes. That's a 45% improvement in memory consumption of our native images. This has a few other benefits as well. This improves the I.O. performance because less pages are faulted from disk, and in particular, this helps the cold startup of your application. Additionally, this dense packing of pages will help with the cache performance of your application. We've also included features in MPGO which make it easy to use and build lab automation. For more information, you can read the MSDN documentation for the MPGO tool. Today I've shown you my two favorite performance features in .NET 4.5. First, I showed you multi-core JIT compilation, which is an easy to use feature to improve your application startup performance. Then I showed you our new managed profile guided optimizations which you can use to reduce the memory consumption of your application when you're using native images. On top of this, we've made many other small performance improvements to .NET 4.5, so I encourage you to try your application on the new version. Again, my name is Dan Taylor, and thank you for watching.